Hi, Carl here. I'm back with more uh, plasma tube videos, this time featuring tubes containing uh, a lot of neon gas. Neon's a somewhat difficult gas to work with from the point of view of plasma sculpture because being a light uh, atom, uh, it, uh, it can uh, get rid of heat easily and therefore it doesn't form the filamentary structures that the heavier noble gases, krypton and, uh, and uh, xenon, do. Uh, and it has to be doped in order to, to form filamentary structures. So, uh, also pure neon, we tend to associate it with the brilliant red color of uh, neon lighting, but unfortunately, uh, at high pressures, neon doesn't actually like to form that much red. It forms bluish and, and frankly, not very pretty looking colors, unless, again, we, uh, we uh, dope the material. So, I'm going to uh, discuss uh, some doped neon tubes and show you the various effects, beginning with this tube. Let me turn the lights out so that it can be uh, seen more easily. This tube features neon uh, at a pretty high pressure, 345 tor, in combination with 10 tor of nitrogen and 10 tor of krypton. Nitrogen contributes some color to this golden and red glow. Uh, it also contributes to the branching of the discharge. Krypton undoubtedly contributes to the uh, formation of a filament, which neon by itself at this pressure has difficulty doing. And then finally, of course, neon is the principal colorant in this mixture, giving it the golden and red colors. And of course, adjust the uh, amount of power going into the tube. You get anything from small discharges all the way up to uh, very bright ones. Let me bring the camera in to uh, to get a better view of some of these uh, these glow effects. You can see that the main body of this discharge is sort of a golden color, but the uh, the ends of it are are very red. And that red color, of course, is characteristic of neon. So let's look at some other tubes here. Again, this is uh, neon with nitrogen and krypton. Let's check out, uh, this is a smaller tube. This is uh, neon, krypton, and oxygen. So you see what difference oxygen makes compared with uh, with nitrogen. So this tube produces a whitish pink filament that's quite bright and very intense and yet the uh, the edges of that discharge or the peripheral features are brilliant blue and red which are colors that are uh, contributed by the neon gas. Here we have a high pressure of neon. It's uh, 470 torr the oxygen partial pressure is 1.1 torr and uh, krypton at 1.4 torr. Let's, uh, let's get in close here and, and take a good close look at this tube. Let me bring the camera down here so we can get a good look at what we've got going on. I'll zoom in here close. Look at those gorgeous colors. We have the gorgeous reddish color and bluish color both characteristic of neon. The blue is what it likes to do uh, unless it's doped. The red is, the red is uh, what we want it to do. And then uh, we have this white feature that becomes much more pinkish when we start increasing the current density, in this case by putting our hand on it. So this is a very beautiful tube featuring krypton and uh, oxygen mixed with neon. And we get these Wonderful reticulations. Let me look at it close up. And uh, beautiful pink discharge, pinkish white, filamentary discharge uh, when we increase the current density. Neon with oxygen and krypton. Let's look at another tube here. Let's look at, uh, let's see what we've got going on next. 
this is a very interesting one. This contains a compound that's typically used to brominate spas to uh, clean them by releasing the chemical element bromine. It's an organic compound. It's often uh, uh, simply known by its acronym, which is uh, BDCHD. And you can find it at Home Depot. There's a very small amount of the solid placed in the bottom of this tube. This tube is very bright and uh, get it in there better. It really shows off the colors of neon exceptionally well. The brilliant uh, filamentary red glow is produced probably by the combination of uh, uh, quenching action from the bromine that's liberated in the tube and uh, also the higher molecular weight of the organic. Let's uh, get the camera out and come take a closer look at this very beautiful discharge. So you see the discharge itself is a pinkish color. That filament is a very pink color, but it is surrounded by some absolutely gorgeous orange and red diffuse stuff. If we draw very high current densities, again, just like with the oxygen and krypton dope neon, we get a filament that tends towards a whitish color. But uh, at the lower current densities, we get this very showy pink to red to orange, uh, almost a sunset hued glow in that tube. Just a very gorgeous phenomenon here. Again, this is uh, looking at neon with a spa brominating tablet solid mixed with it. And uh, I find that to be a very gorgeous effect. It does require a pretty high current density to do this, so only the most powerful uh, induction coils or supplies will be able to, uh, to make this effect happen. Let's look at something else. This is 450 tor of neon with a little bit of iodine vapor at that element's vapor pressure. Just as we saw with uh, krypton and iodine or xenon and iodine, the presence of iodine vapor in, uh, in neon produces what is probably uh, an excimer or an excited dimer of the noble gas with, uh, with the iodine that uh, responds in the blue wavelengths. But iodine also has high molecular weight and probably limits the diffusion of uh, atoms and, and uh, the transport, uh, convective transport of heat. So we, we get it uh, enhancing the filamentary discharges. And as you can see here, neon, which doesn't like to form filaments by itself, forms a very beautiful filament when only a small doping of iodine vapor is allowed to be present. Uh, there's also some characteristic pink that you'll see from time to time in this tube. That is, uh, that can only be added by neon, but uh, I'll point out again that the pressures that are required to make this effect in neon are much higher than they are in krypton. This is again uh, 450 tor of neon. A corresponding effect in Krypton might use less than 100 Tor. But you'll note a few pink uh, flashes from time to time, betraying the presence of neon in this tube. Very gorgeous effect. Again, this is uh, neon with a little bit of iodine vapor. Let's look at one more tube here. This final tube shows off neon uh, mixed with um, xenon, a little bit of nitrogen, and a little bit of oxygen. And the, uh, the effects seen in this tube are dominated by 
the other gases, even though neon has the very uh, the, the largest uh, partial pressure by far in this tube. So we see a filament that's uh, characteristic of xenon, which is present at only a few tor in this tube. We get a green color resulting from presumably from uh, xenon's eczema with nitrogen and uh, perhaps aided by the presence of oxygen. But we also get a very little bit of red which of course is Neon's contribution to this tube. So let's take a closer look and we'll see how Neon, which is the largest uh, partial pressure contribution in this gas, we'll see how that influences the color of this discharge locally. So I'm going to bring the camera in here close and we'll see if we can see on the video some of the very nice uh, but subtle, admittedly quite subtle, red features in this discharge. You can see it down at the bottom at the root there where it's connected to the uh, power supply. You can also see that red up here surrounding the end of this discharge where my hand is. Let's see if we can adjust it and get some better uh, features. We do get that gorgeous green. That's, uh, as I mentioned before, the eczema of uh, xenon and nitrogen that does that. But I think uh, I think you may be able to see some of the uh, some of the red features in this tube, or pinkish. You can probably see it there a little bit. Anyway, neon is a challenging gas to use in these tubes, and it can produce some very gorgeous effects. But it takes real effort to figure out how to do that. It's not the same as uh, just putting neon in a uh, sign tube and uh, making that diffuse red glow that we're all familiar with. Making, uh, making a good uh, glow discharge with high pressure neon and getting the characteristic red color out of it uh, can be a real challenge. But I'm showing you here uh, actually five different examples of uh, the use of neon uh, to produce various colored effects. So thank you for your attention and I'm sure I'll be back soon with more of these.